bring that quarter maybe yeah, a little bit, yeah. so it might yeah. be a different tail this quarter. Start of the second term here, 3 4 22, North Central Geelong, 5 straight, 30. Sirrett goes up in the ruck against Lovett, neither really get an effective tap. Roman got a little kick, Barlow, he's dropped the footy in the tackle, should have got a free kick against him, but that might be the payback, I think. I think it was. And North Central will take the free kick back into the centre circle. And they'll drive it long now, and they go through Brasser. It goes to centre half forward. That's a hold as well. The umpire said play on. Best. Handball back into Broman. His handball back into the middle. How oh, under pressure. Jacker got a kick. Only up and above, up and uh, up in the air. No mark taken. Still at half forward for the GD. They can't pick the footy up. Barlow comes back. Ball gets tapped back. Brad Watts can't pick it up. Ball spills free. And North Central, is that a free? I think it might be for holding the ball. It was. He was on the ground there, Kieran Wilson. And he dropped the footy in the tackle. The umpire says the ball will come back once it had already gone into the Raiders' uh, half-forward line. So it will come back onto centre wing. And the GD to drive it inside 50. Gee, it's a wide kick. And I don't think... Uh, Jaden Etridge, Etridge can keep it in. He can't do so, and it will be a boundary throw in. 50 around from their goal. Southern end of the ground. Well, they've done the right thing going to that side. That's the side they kick most of the goals from for North Central. Correct. Attacking side. Love it from behind. Got it down with the left fist. Rabbis ran through with that. The football couldn't pick it up. 40 out from goal. Umpire will come in and ball it up. A minute and a half played. Second term. You played in the ruck, Smitty. Could you beat these big blokes? I never played in the ruck. That's yeah. probably one position I never played in. Well, you're a ruck. No. Sear it. Love it. Gets it down. Kick out of the pack towards uh, the goal. It's out of bounds on the full. And it will be a North Central free kick in the last line of defence. And a oh, short little kick under pressure. They've got four or five GD players around, but they get the ball to Hogan, North Central. He has to run around a couple. Gets onto that uh, left foot, goes wide. They pick it up at defensive 50, get around, get a couple of good shepherds, and they can run free now. And I think it was Walk later goes, and they go towards centre-half forward, and it's open about now. And they're going to be able to kick a goal if he turns around. And that is uh, Lockie Foot, who's kicked two behinds. He chips the ball over the top, and he comes out. He can't stop McInnes, though, and he takes the mark. And thought about playing on quickly. He's kicked one, but now we'll go back and shoot for goal. And I'll tell you what, he had a five-metre break on Cam Eddie. He made up made a up lot of ground, but he, he just nearly got him there, didn't he? I'll tell you, another bloke is a little bit like that Ricky Allen. I think that Hogan's got a bit yeah, of class too, by the looks right. of it. So, Billy McInnes, who's kicked one this afternoon. 40 out, 45-degree angles, northern end of the ground. We're going to have a pretty good look on the uh, read on the ball here as he comes in in front of us. Comes in right foot kick and brings it back with the breeze nicely and has right just enough. missed it to the far side for one behind. So 1-1, one, one. his tally. 3-5-23, North Central. And they trailed along five straight to 30. Common Affine Hotel, second quarter scoreboard. Three minutes played. That idiot's not going to sit down there, is he? In the sunshine. He's in yeah. the, uh, just uh, simply amazed by the sunshine up here. He's going to get sunburn on that fat ball. Head of straight ball down the ground. Like dangerous. It turns over. High contact. Not given. Paid by the uh, trailing umpire this time. So free kick to, I think it's uh, Jacob Tillick. And he's going to be able to suit, have a shot from goal. He's going to kick from 45. But he is directly in front. He looks like a little fella, though, not he? He does. He's gone back nearly as far as he has to kick the ball, so oh. he's going to rely on a big run up here. The approach now comes in. Ran very close to the man of the mark. Needed to. He's not going to. Well, yes, he will make the distance, but it's through for a minor score. So 3-6 now central to the GDFL. Five straight goals. And Lukey Parker doing the kicking in duty from the full-back position. He goes long, straight, flat. Goes towards the big fella. Love it. Can't take the mark. Brings it to the ground. Ends up in the hands of North Central. They've uh, ducked and we've got a handball back inside. Ends up in the hands of Haddo. Campbell's back inside. Oh, goes forward. Geez. And the mark has been taken again forward. And it's going to be Lachlan, Lachlan Foot. He's going to have his third shot at goal. Yeah, well, he won't miss this one. I can tell you. Right put down your glasses. Put them down. So a chance to level things up here early in the second quarter. 
From about 25, almost directly in front, Foot comes in. He likes to kick off the boot this time. And so does the umpire. He gets his first goal of the afternoon. And North Central, they move to four goals, 6.30. They uh, level up with the GDFL, five straight goals. And we have gone five, oh, sorry, five minutes gone, second quarter. Yeah, look, they've leveled the scores up. But I tell you what, in the first five minutes, I reckon the possessions would be about 42 to about eight. They've actually dominated the proceedings. So the GDFL must do something in that middle and around the ground to stop that because they're starting to look really, really dangerous. And if they're not careful, they'll go in three or four, maybe five goals down at half time unless they can do something. The only way to do that is kick a goal yourself. Sirrett back in the middle against Lovett. Broman in the tackle. He can't take the footy away. Hogan's in there and also getting away was Brasser. Goes towards centre wing. Ooh. And a free kick over the shoulder. Going to go to North Central. That's ten free kicks to three for the game. Brad Watts. <laughs> so... And North Central go long through walk late towards half forward. GD working hard. Ball was dropped in the tackle. And the umpire says play on. A long handball. So she's came out towards Grozdanovsky on centre wing, but he couldn't keep it in. He ran out of bounds with the ball, and it will be a boundary throw in centre wing on the outer side. He's handballed that further than I can kick it. <laughs> so, ruck contest. Just four to the centre wing position for North Central. Ball square here at Donaldson Park, 30 apiece, six played, second term, love it, gets it to the front of the pack, nobody can take it, Sirrett tried to uh, get out of the contest with the footy, couldn't do so, Rabbis puts the tackle on, umpire says holding the ball, and a free kick to the GDFL, Broman, oh jeez, that was pretty tough, he didn't give him much of a chance, did he, crikey, so Rabbis will take the free kick, back end of the centre square at half back, Got a couple of short options. He elects to go along the line, though, towards centre-half forward. Fulton goes up, plucks the mark against a couple of uh, couple opponents. Of tall timber yeah. there, too. In the middle of Sirrett and Reardon. So he takes the mark. He goes now from half forward, inside 50. No mark taken. Front and centre, great Barlow. And should be a goal if Broman kicks it around the corner. And Jake Barlow... He's got it. A fantastic front and centre from the big fella. And he gave it away to Broman, who kicks his first. And a reply for the GD. They're six straight 36. And they lead North Central 4, 6.30. Common Affine Hotel, second quarter scoreboard, seven and a half minutes played. Well, it was pretty smart football by Broman because he, they played against Belpo. Belpo still played Bannockburn last week and obviously he knew that a, a young, who is it, Andrew Barlow, that idiot's probably sitting in the car drinking coffee, the old <laughs> woman. But he knew Barlow gets it and handballs it. He, most centre-half forwards get it and go back for the big kick. He knew Barlow would give it out and he was right there to take it. Broman, Broman 17 disposals so far. Back in the middle of the ground, Rabbis, chance to clear, got taken down in the tackle, they move the ball around, hey they the hands of Broman, <laughs> kicks into the half forward line, running back, trying to take possession of the ball's Martin, he wins it, good spoil coming the other way, Etridge picked up Barlow, handball's back outside, uh, this time yeah. more potential under pressure, they are able to keep the ball moving, it's one, and it's picked up and kicked into the forward line by Phyllis, he won at the boundary line I think. Yeah, I think uh, he did too. Good tackle in the forward line there by Fulton, oh. I think it was, umpire said he was holding the player. Yeah. Oh, he can only tackle him when he had the ball, so I'm not too sure ah, about that. Geez. We might have taken him forward, but that would have been a better call. But they transfer a play now. Come club room side of the ground. Picked up and cleared away by ball. Down the ground. Grunders He's and grinders. Jumped the ball him up, free kicked it. And the free kick will go down the field, centre wing. So they'll be asked to come back and take it uh, back behind him. Mark Benane is going to be the recipient. No, someone else has got to come and take it. Wrong player, he says. Come back, son. I know it's the rules, but... To speed the game up, but just let everyone take it from there. Nearest play, just take it and kick it. Get it moving. Sis Brasser. That'll give the GDFL defence some time to pick up their men, you would think. So a short kick comes outside, Mark is taken, and it moves to Ricky Allen. Ricky Allen goes short and inside, kick didn't hit the target. Out the back, Best picks it off, little short kick going forward, and the mark has been taken out there, Wilson looks inside, and the kick Danger. takes it. Rabbis decides to play on, has support out the back, Phyllis goes sideways, Dwyer. Dwyer missed the target, bent back, Phyllis support, handball goes up again, so they've turned the ball over, so North Central at their centre-half forward position, a chance to turn it over, free kick, North Central for holding the man.
And that the ball is now in the hands of Benayim. I think it may be. He goes long into the goal square. Two and one back there. Over the back foot. Couldn't take the mark. He goes back, collects it. Handball comes out. Ends up in the hands there of Chilik. Tries to uh, get boot the ball. But Geelong win the ball back. And ends up in the hands there. Going across the ground is Parker. It's a nice kick. And the mark will be taken far side of the ground. Timmy Barton in space. Lucky he's a beautiful kick, Luke Parker. He's uh, now moving the ball towards centre wing. Kick had to be good. Hash Brown comes out. Can't uh, we? Fix the spoil, but the numbers are with Centrals. They get the handball away. Again, they look to come back into their forward line. Picked up by McKay in the left boot. Out kick the goes wide. And there's uh, out of bounds on the full. Free kick goes to the Geelong District side. I'll tell you what, you reckon these blokes look different in their jumpers. Luke Parker looks the most different of them all of them. He yeah. doesn't look like him. No, nah, not with the hair. He's had a haircut too. He throws you a bit. Ball to Dwyer. Now to Parker. At least he's got a long sleeve jumper on. He's the one with one, so that makes it easier. Out oh, jeez. Down there by Gowans. Picked up. Ricky Mayo. Oh, Ricky. Ricky Mayo. I was say Ricky Allen. Oh. Goes back in the forward line. There's another one. And the mark is taken by oh. Chilling, so he can go back. What are you going to call him? Ricky Mayo. What's his name? <laughs> Ricky Martin. <laughs> Ricky May. Hey, what do you reckon? We're at a concert, you idiot. Ricky May. Ah, <laughs> oh, gee. It doesn't uh, matter because Tilly's got the ball anyway, so he's going to shoot up for the North Central League. He's going to shoot for goal. Chant, well, he's going to shoot it up. There <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 might be a few apologies coming this week from Dale Smith too, by the looks of it. <laughs> so Tilly, one shot at goal for one minor score this time. He's going to miss also, and it's going to go across the face through for another minor score. So there are opportunities. They keep uh, having shots, but can't get the result. We've had, Four, a seven. To, we've had a chance to build a lead, haven't they? Yep. They Four, really seven. have. Six goals straight to the Geelong side. We've gone 11 minutes, second quarter. Alex Govins will be happy about it too. I'll tell you that he missed that. Now Parker goes. Oh, towards, oh gee whiz. The uh, North Central boy has run into the water boy. So. Uh, well, whose water boy is it? I don't know. Ours, I think. Yeah, it's uh, well, then it should be a free kick to North Central. It's going to be. It's well, it has to be. Sear it. It just has to be. It's, it's unfortunate, but it has to be. So, Ricky Martin, Ricky May, Ricky Allen's got the footy. So well, Where's the now. water boy, Alex? It goes towards centre half forward, over the back, numbers with the GD. White gets the kick away, goes wide. That's part of their plan to hold up their forward Looking line. for uh, <laughs> Gozdanovsky, <laughs> goes around the corner towards centre wing. No mark taken, great pick up though. Fulton handballed it back in dangerously. And the ball in dispute now at centre half forward for North Central. The umpire will come well, in. Don't dare play holding the ball against the poor bugger, and he did. And ball it up. So just inside the centre square at centre half forward. Ball up. Ruck contest, comes out the back, good play by the hash brown. They drop the footy. Now the ball comes through the middle. Jacker needs to pick it up, does so. He's handball away to Watts on the right side for a left. Oh. Crap handball back towards Jacker. He's under pressure. He got it away though nicely. Holwell gives it away back into the Gubbins. Needs to make up for the last one. He does. He gets it out wide. White now on centre wing by himself. Not much to kick to. Oh, he gets in trouble. Now he wheels around. Goes on the right foot and he still turns it over. Yeah, he was always going to. And he has no one to go to, so he's going to come Barlow. back. Yep. So, ball going to be North Central at defensive 50. Not much to kick to for them either. He goes long and wide. And punched down to the front hole. Will picks it up. Handballs Shit. it out. Ooh, okay. Trap. Handball further afield. Now they go with the right foot kick inside. 50 at the back of the pack. No mark taken. Grundle needs a bit of support. They haven't got it there. And they get it away through Gash, who goes out wide. Broman into next to... To get the ball, he gets a kick well, away. That's deliberate. That's that deliberate, a, umpire. He'll be paying that deliberate, won't he? No. no. The umpire says throw it in. <laughs> Did you watch the game last night? Yeah. They, they stopped playing it. They, 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 they stopped playing it. They basically have. 13 minutes played, second the turn. from the sublime to the ridiculous. North Central, 4 7 31. The GDFL, 6 straight 36. So, ball on the forward line for the GDFL. It's thrown in by the umpire. Goes front of the contest. Broman goes back, collects it again. Hands and knees. He tries to feed the ball out. North Central with some numbers, but it's gained. Picked up, kicked towards goal. Hash Brown. Tell you what. Tell you Maybe what. first kick of the day, but he's uh, put it straight through the middle. And the seventh <laughs> straight goal for the GDFL. It moves him to seven straight. 42, 4, 7, 31 to North Central. And we have gone a 13, nearly 14 minutes, second quarter. It goes in fits and starts. Don't know, I reckon at one stage North Central looked like they just were dominating the game. And all of a sudden, the Geelong District Football League started to dominate it a little bit themselves. But I tell you about that, that deliberate. When you're a defender and you kick it out, they just go ping straight away. But Brian grabbed that ball, had a look up forward, had nothing to kick to. 
So he deliberately put it out of bounds, and the umpire said no. Last week they would have paid it. Yeah. It's, it's just this deliberate rule's crap. So back to the middle. Sear it in the ruck contest. Watts in there also for the GD. Kick comes out quickly for North Central. Phyllis runs across, gets pushed off the ball way too easy. It was Gubbins, in fact. Kick around the corner for North Central. Barton in front, couldn't take the mark. Parker sweeps around, picks it up, does nicely. Jeez, he's a good footballer. Goes back to Howell. Howell in the middle from the defensive side. Goes wide, looking for Phyllis. Barlow in support. Phyllis needs to trap it, didn't do so. And the handball back for North Central. They're okay. They've got a bit of time if they can get through. It was a terrible handball, though. Phyllis comes in again, does nicely on hands and knees. Got rid of the football. Ball comes towards uh, Barlow at half forward. He goes inside. Two on two. Wilson goes up. Can't take the mark. His second effort. They've got three on two now. Getting across there also was Hargraves. Got him high. Got him high. Yeah, did. And it will be free kick. Advantage. Now. And advantage for North Central. So they're out and about. They go towards centre wing. They can get it through Haddow, who gets around. Bit of candy. Just got the kick away under pressure. Getting across there quickly for his fault he ran past the football though north central they didn't they had the numbers as well good tackle came from broman and he wraps it up inside the center square for a ball up i tell you what i'm gonna go early here. broman is playing a better game Ooh. than brent mcleod played last year there you, there you go. go ball up in the middle ball comes out the back quickly harrison gets it wide for north central little chip kick they've got the uh, loose man and they go okay and I think that uh, is Wurtz, is it? He's got it. He goes back. Short little kick. Was that That's 15? not 15. I don't think so. Harrison gets it again. He's called play on. They muck around with it outside 50. Now they go inside. They turn the ball over. Gubbins takes the mark. And he wants to switch the play. It might be okay as well. Jacker takes the mark. He switches it again to Parker, who's running on half back. Got a bit of time for it to sit. He wants to get around. Oh, Candy again. He sells. Then he goes back in board. What's happening down here? Jake Barlow's got pushed over. He loses the football. Now Wirtz gets it back. Goes in. Allen. What happened there? Don't know what happened. And Allen's got it. Right half forward flank. McInnes gives him a lead. He ignores that. He goes across uh, 50 laterally. And they're just holding it up north central. Not much to kick to at the moment. Pretty congested. The kick in quickly. Came from Gash. It was a good kick too. He had a couple to uh, pick from there. And they have taken the mark about uh, 40 metres out from goal. Is it, uh, Harrison, I think. The football. And he will shoot for goal. 40 out directly in front to give north central the lead once again. He comes in left foot kick. And the goal umpire says... Thank you very up. much. So his first of the afternoon. And they go to 5-7-37 North Central. They lead the GDFL. In fact, that scoreboard's not right because I believe they're seven. Is that right, That's Dale? That's correct. Yes, you're, never, you're always on the board. So seven straight 42, the GDFL. And North Central 5-7-37. And that is on the Common Affine Hotel second quarter scoreboard. Seven and a half minutes played. I tell you what, it's a pretty good game to watch, actually. The... Yeah. the, 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 the GDFL boys, as a, as same as the North Central, the, the pressure on, on the ball carrier is unbelievable. And I guess you would expect that, as I said before, about the cream of the two leagues. But uh, I tell you what, it's a really good game to watch. I wasn't that interested early, but I'm starting to get interested. <laughs> I don't know whether it's I, the footy or the I wonder why. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. Fulton doing the ruck work now, and he's up against the big fella there in Howgate. So both ruckmen up. Howgate over the top. Comes down, cleared away. Goes forward by Haddow into the half-forward line. Coming across best. Has been good today. Picked up there, going the other way. Good work, Sam Jack. He's, uh, he's done quite nicely. He's played pretty well. Yeah, no, he's gone into the half-forward line. Robbie Lowe, good hands. Decides to play on. Goes inside 50. Kick wasn't good. Good, clean pick up. Wilson kicks around his body. Goes back towards the pocket. Big fella running back as Howgate. Uh, Fulton does nicely. Takes him off the ball. Looks back inside. Went back to the goal square. Did the right thing. Mark out the back. Not taken. Picked up. And it was picked up by Wilson. He's tackled. Brought to ground. Umpire lets it go. And the umpire will now come in and have a ball up about 20 minutes out from the goal. Because he did the right thing in theory, but they had some big blokes there. I, don't know, I reckon he should have probably had a, had a crack at them. So Wilson doing the ruck work now. It's deep in the forward line. Over the top. Ball is tapped out. Again, centrals. They release oh, the ball. They come outside. Geez. Short kick. And the mark has been taken out there by Ricky Allen. Not Ricky May. He's a T. Uh, Ricky Martin. Driver. Ricky May. Whatever you want. Harness driver from New Zealand. I thought we were talking about trots and races. But anyway, back. Ball picked up. That was a double-handed handball that by was Harris. A throw. Yeah, it was. Handball over the top. It goes to Gash. He's taken down in the tackle. Picked up by Best. He just puts boot to ball. Over the top. Logue. Oh, good grab. Robbie Logue. He's uh, plucked that from nowhere. And he has taken a mark wrong side for a left footer. 
We'll need some traffic back inside, I would think. Broman running the line, but not going to be seen. So Robbie Lowe. What's his form been like at Inverley, Smitty? Uh, I'll ask him, I don't pick Fair to Midland. I don't pick the paper up during the week anymore. So yeah, I don't think I it's been as good as it has been. He's a competitor. I tell you what, if you want a bloke to do some tag and rolls, he's a bloke you do it. I tell you what, he's chipped that nicely, and he's not noted for these goal kicking, not from that distance anyway. But he's finished that off very nicely. So the accuracy continues for the Geelong District Football League. They move to eight straight goals: 48, 5, 7, 37, North Central, and uh, we have gone 19, nearly 20 minutes, second quarter here at the uh, Wedderburn Oval. Well, I hate stating the obvious, but obviously kicking straight has really kept them right in the game here, hasn't it? I mean, they miss a few and North Central kick a few more and there could have been a bit of a difference, but they're hanging in there, they're playing pretty good footy, and I tell you what, you maybe this is disinclined to agree with me last week about Jack Bramman being probably the elite best player in a comp. After looking at it today, I think he is. Back I think to he's the best player in a comp. Back to the middle. Howgate gets it down. They move it from the middle again, North Central. Across towards half, back, uh, half forward. Best gets a gets a collared should have been a high tackle. Got collared around the neck. Said no, and we'll play on. And now we'll come in and ball it up at right half forward for Central. So ruck contest, Howgate, and love it. Pye throws the ball up. Love it gets it down. Loke. Goes towards the side of the pack. Ravis got the kick away, and now. Ball still in dispute. Ravis through the middle. Love it. He got wrapped up. The umpire said play on. <laughs> Just lucky, I think. Yeah. The, uh, don't, think he, don't think he touched his boot in the way down there, Jason. Come in and ball <laughs> it up again in between wing and half forward. The intention was there, but the execution was not quite right. A ball up. Love it. And Howgate. Howgate gets it down easily. Alan Roves. Blind turn. Handball was okay. Kick out high, Parker, close to the boundary line, will take the, the mark and or free kick. Just took it in the field of play. Back towards centre half, oh, back to picked up Barlow. He picks it up though, then he gets wrapped up, gets cold. Rabbit's got the handball away quickly. Gubbins through the middle, Holwell thought about the handball, saw Throwing the person the out wide. He then threw the footy, the umpire said play on. So now the uh, ball back with North Central. Harrison picks it up, half forward. Oh, he dropped the football as well in the contest. Now Phyllis gets it away. Hash Brown gets it over the top to Love it. The big fella on the left, kick was partly smothered. Phyllis to come back onto it. He can't take it with him. Then he gets a push, and he pushes uh, the, his opponent in the back. And the umpire says, it's OK, it's mine. Well, I think they're a little bit unwilling to pay a couple at the moment. At, at uh, 15 free kicks to four, I think they're probably <laughs> trying right. to even it out a little Love bit. It. Love it, gets it down. The hash brown gave it, just handed it to Broman. He's wrapped up and not going anywhere. Right on centre wing, right in front of us. And it is eight straight, 48, the GDFL. They lead North Central 5, 7, 37, 22 and a half played in the second term. Ball up, Howgate gets it down OK. Phyllis wraps up. The tackle there, and the umpire will come in and do a bit more work. Right on centre wing. That was Haddow, who uh, got pushed into the, the, the turf. A ball up. Love it comes from the same side. Howgate still gets it down. Falls to the back, and it's OK for North Central. Wirtz gets it away. They go towards Tillig. Punched away at the back, though, by Gubbins. Close to the boundary line. Very close. Haddow kept it in. Handball over the top was OK. They keep working Ooh. it. Ooh, close to the boundary line. That was Holt. In fact, he was over. You, know, you have to laugh on. when Big Howgate at seven foot three turns up, and then Ricky Allen at five <laughs> foot eight and a half, and the umpire looks up and says, "Who's nominated for the run? <laughs> what a lot of rubbish!" So boundary throw in, fifty around from the North Central goal. Throw in now. Nobody really takes the effective ruck tap. Holt in there, handball away. And oh, is that a push back. in the back? No, the umpire says it's his. That's and where, by the way, that's where that rule by is. By the way, if Jock's listening, that's no reflection on the umpires. That's the rule itself, not the umpires. A ball up, down by Sirrett. Out the back of the pack. They get the kick away quickly, oh, and that came from kick. Brasser. That's a great kick. kick. So Kyle Brasser kicks his first, and the, set, and the sixth for North Central. They go to 6 7 43. And they trail the GDFL 8 straight, 48. Commonafine Hotel, second quarter scoreboard, 24 minutes played. I tell you what, there's nothing you can much do about that. A bloke kicks it, picks it up and goes bang and kicks it over his shoulder and nine times out of ten it goes nowhere near those big sticks, but that one went right through the middle. And I tell you what, this is an entertaining game, Smith. I don't know what you said it'd be a crap game for. It's a pretty good game. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, we've come to watch the interleague game. And tell that's you what, what we want. I tell you what, he should have had a couple of cans of coke before we yeah, actually. There start, you go, Alex. Before before we started the uh, the the intro, because his intro was horrific today. Yes. The back in the middle <laughs> of the ground, Love it's gone back in there over the top again. Uh, the big fellow in Howgate gets the ball down. Jack Broman in there working hard, put his head down, and a right decision by the umpire. He releases a ball, picked up, tries to come out was Hogan. Ends up in the hands of Rabbis, running player from behind is Michael Best. Done nicely today. Looks outside his teammate at Inverley, Robbie Logue on the left boot he's on his natural side, called a play on now goes wide, Entry just got to be the target, he'll make it, yes he does and he takes the mark just inside forward 50 over the top he goes, Grozdanovsky comes up and he now takes the mark, about 35 to 40 metres out from goal and Mick Gros with the first goal of the game opportunity now to kick his second Grozdanovsky now just taking his time over the football. Steps inside now, kicks towards goal. It's going to go across the face. Mark. Oh, it's taken out there. I think it has yeah. been. Kieran Fulton. Fulton. One against three. So Kieran Fulton with an opportunity now to kick his third goal of the afternoon. He's asked to move around by the umpire. So we know the angle out there from what we've seen so far from the local knowledge. Let's see how the uh, blokes travelling. They go about it. They've got the banana happening here. Kicks low, and it's a kick nice it. kick. So the accuracy continues once again. They move to nine goals straight, the Judy FL. 54, and they lead North Central on 6 7 43, 25. Ticking towards 20 second, 26 minutes, second quarter here at the uh, Donaldson Oval. Well, that's three goals for Kieran Fulton in this first half. This time yesterday, he was uh, in the Newtown Medical Centre. We didn't think he'd be playing, but here he is with three goals. Who's the goal kicking coach, Ellie? The goal kicking coach? Uh, <laughs> Toothy Moore, I think. So back to the middle. Close to siren time for half time. Howgate gets it down again. Coming off the. Uh, Square was Logue through the middle. Rodstanovsky, in fact it was Jacker. His handball was chopped off. Handball came out quickly and it was a good handball too from Wilson for North Central. They go inside 50. Addy backs himself again. Leaves McInnes by himself. Got a bit of time. Just settles the play. Goes with a kick out wide. Best. It got a couple against him. Over the back it was okay. The GD had the numbers. They kick it along the line. But there's North Central sitting across half back and they take the mark. And Fitty. And Fitty. <laughs> So it will Especially be those comments from the outside the box. 50 metre <laughs> penalty. It's like where's Wally sometimes with him, I tell you. And North Central will bring the footy down to uh, 50, 60 metres out from goal. Luke Wilson needs to come back quickly. He might get another 50 here, but uh, he's done that now. So, pretty congested though. Forward line for North Central. Ball, and there's a chop off. And Barlow gets back there and uh, takes the mark for... The GDFL, he goes to the outer side with the kick. The long lead by Fulton. Got a couple against him. He needed to pick the footy up before he tried to wheel around. He didn't do so, though. Hargraves gives it away quickly. Over the top, they've got the numbers. They come back in board, North Central. Hogan takes it. And just under pressure, he gets it, gets it. And they go to the fat side now. Tilly takes the mark at half forward. Love it, stands the mark. He goes into the pocket. Parker put the hands up just in time. Handball uh, coming back, though, and getting it was foot. And now the pack develops. Parker still stands up. Gives it away by hand. Broman got leather poisoning. Goes wide. Looking for Wilson. Can't keep it in. Out of bounds. And a throw in. In between wing and half forward. 6-7-43 North Central. Trail Geelong and District Football League. Nine straight 54. 28 minutes played. Second term. So ball in to take place nearly on centre, centre wing here. Thrown in. Front position at the back. Ball comes out. North Central appears with the ball. Handball goes back. Ends up in the hands of Hogan. Stops and props. Looks back inside as the siren sounds to end the second quarter here in this Center League game. North Central's will go in at 6 7 33. The Geelong District Football League are nine straight 54. Goal kickers to this.